What's going on, guys? My name is Tefty Teft. Welcome to another Xur's Day video. Old tentacle faces in the tower once again. I just got done streaming. If you were hanging out for that, thank you very much. I really appreciate the support you guys give. People are going to be excited about this one. Uh, he is selling, bam, Zalo Supercell, the auto rifle with arc damage. Fantastic. I'm very happy he's selling this. I picked it up myself because I did not have it yet. Definitely grab it if you do not have it. It is the only year two arc primary that we currently have. Now, the armor, all the rolls are kind of average. They're on the average side. Uh, two of them I do not have experience with, the, specifically the Tygonaut. This is what it does. All rocket launchers gain tracking. Radar remains visible when zooming with heavy weapons and heavy ammo drops drop more often. Like I said, I do not have personal experience with this. Some people have said that it is not very good. So if you're strapped on strange coin, you might want to hold off. Then again, if you have the coin to burn, pick it up for sure. It comes with increased intellect, increased discipline, inverse shadow, heavy lifting, and in innervation. Innervation. <laughs> and again, these rolls are average. Next, we have the Graviton Forfeit, which hunters out there are going to be super excited to get. Elusive Shadow grants Shade Step. We all know Shade Step is awesome. So if you rock that subclass consistently and do not have this helmet yet, definitely pick it up. It comes with increased intellect, increased strength, ashes to assets, heavy lifting, and better already. And then finally, the Alchemist Raiment for the Warlock. I do not have experience with this either. Some people have said they enjoy it, and they like this uh, exotic iron to gold. Chance to gain glimmer on primary ammo pickups. Orbs collected when your super is full recharge your grenades and melee. It comes with increased strength, increased intellect, special ammo, heavy ammo, arc burn defense, and arc armor. These two right here, special ammo and heavy ammo is nice because most of the chest pieces now are have specific uh, weapon ammo enhancements. Heavy ammo in general, it increases it, and special ammo in general increases it. That is worthwhile. That could be uh, that could be something to use in general right there. And again, these rolls are on the average side. Uh, finally, we have the Legacy Ingram, which is a special slot. From what I hear, this has the chance of dropping Prison of Elders exotics. So if you don't have those, you might be able to get them out of these engrams. I can't say 100% sure that that's correct. I've only heard that people are getting Prison Elders exotics out of it. And then we have Glass Needles for rerolling exotics. We have Three of Coins and Heavy Ammo Synth, Void Drive and Plasma Drive in your Moat of Light Exchange. That is the Xur stock this week. Not too shabby, Xur. Not too shabby at all. Uh, I think a lot of people are going to be happy about this week. And that is it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, again, I do the Xur streams at 10 p.m. Pacific time on Thursday night before Xur shows up. That might actually be changing once Daylight Savings hits. Look at the schedule on the Planet Destiny uh, stream schedule for that time in case it does change if you guys are interested in watching those streams. And again, I really appreciate the support. You guys are amazing. And I will see you guys next time for the Xur's Day stock. Peace.